Okay, uh, so Jimmy, what were you, you were, you were talking about something? I was talking about the 13th Amendment, and uh, while I, I, I don't think enough focus was put on the exception clause in the 13th Amendment, that being that uh, I can lock you up in jail and I can use you as a slave and sell your labor out for 17 cents on a dollar to, to others, and the, the the prison system in this country is set up for profit. It's, it's not set up for rehabilitation. It's, it's used entirely for something different. And uh, that's why the numbers rise. It's a publicly traded entity. It's, it's, it's made for profit. It's listed on the stock exchange, many of them are. So you're, you're saying that AGOS, uh, the AGOS movement or the AGOS people should be addressing that? I think so, yes I do. I think that's you know, the new Jim Crow. It is, uh, it is providing a, a, a present undercast system in this society by locking people up at the rate they do. I, I equate it to, if, if you go down the street and you see a policeman hiding and he gives one person a ticket, has he really effectively provided safety on that road that he would be if he was out there visible, not worrying about revenue of the $150 ticket he was getting out, but where people see him? I know when I see a policeman, that's when I slow down and I pay a little more attention to the rules on the road. And I kind of equate it to that, that form. No, no, I got to ask you, where are you coming from with this? I mean, how, how do you know this and nobody else is talking about it? Hey, you, um, uh, what's your affiliation with this? Did you study uh, constitutional law or something like that? What? No, I uh, I follow, uh, I, I have a friend of mine for 46 years I met in the military, which my association with him changed my life. It was probably the first meaningful relationship I had with a black person outside of my own my own little area. What was your area? Where was you before? I was in a place called Norwood, Ohio, which was a very blue collar, middle, a lower middle class income, where General Motors was king before they went out of business, and uh, it uh, it uh, was a completely all white area, and uh, I began tearing down walls with my association with other people. And what I found was I was I was lied to, I was misled, I was misinformed, whether it be by omission or just outright lies. Okay, well, but you know, you have this association that you formed, let's say, 43 years ago. How long? 46 years. 46 years ago. And so, but what, what, now you, again, what led you to this, this whole revelation it, about it, the 13th? It was, it was the, well, uh, the, they're abolitionists. Uh, oh. Otis is, uh, and Max Parthas are both people that preach abolition and uh, I was able to read and and I have access to their uh, their ideas and thoughts and and uh, you know it, it opened my eyes to a lot of different things so there is a modern abolition movement like like from William Lloyd Garrison people and on down uh, Frederick Douglass is this the same the same, same 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 group that's their lineage so yeah. you come from that lineage that's where they come from. Yes, they always they always quote from Frederick Douglass. Yes. Well, well, well how long, how big is this movement? I've never heard of you. Uh, yes. Max is a uh, a poet, but if you uh, but he's a lyrical poet in the sense that he he uses his words to to combat uh, mass incarceration, and uh, uh, they were they were involved uh, for a while with uh, a group called Black Talk Radio, which was hosted by a gentleman named uh, Scott Scotty Reed out of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So is there a website or something like that? It, it was, it was a, uh, a radio show that he put on, but he also posts a lot on Facebook and stuff, and that's, that's where I picked up a lot of his stuff. Okay, so you get them through Facebook and uh, there's YouTube, but is there, is there anything? There's some YouTube that goes along with it. I'm sure that there are some out there, but it's mostly, it's mostly on Facebook and through his, his uh, radio show. Okay. All right. Thank you so very much. Now, your name is Jimmy? Taurus, yep. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Not a problem.